from the day we took our first breath we were acquainted with the knowledge of chemical sciences but we don't know that exactly we are dealing with chemistry as a child when our mother feeds us the first meal we would have tasted either spicy or sweet or sour undoubtedly we would have spit on her face but by singing lullabies or by telling us the wonderful stories she made us eat food she started us to get habituated to food that's what exactly everything done in a laboratory and hence always i prefer to say a word that mother is the scientist hello friends welcome to vidyun mala in this video i will be discussing about fundamentals of chemistry laboratory with wonderful terminology let's begin so actually chemistry laboratory concerned with either synthesis of organic molecules coordination complexes and some important compounds having medicinal values as well we people of chemistry do analyze and this analysis falls into two categories as qualitative analysis and quantitative analysis in this video uh, actually i got a suggestion from one of my subscribers that he knows me he told me that uh, i know you because of your examples only please try to incorporate examples in each video so i am going to introduce or incorporate some examples not to make you bored of to make different concepts understood so let's begin what do analytical chemist do so simply simply who is the best analytical chemist have you ever met can you answer yeah definitely the answer is amma she is the best analyst analytical chemist see uh, observe the way she cooks food uh, when you complete your college or school and when you reach home your required or desired food stuff will be there on the dining table because she analyzed you what exactly you want to eat as an evening snack then you feel a wonderful thing because you are tired you want to have some good food to get energy so she knew it what exactly you want to eat see being a baby when you are a baby of 3 months old or 1 month old whenever mother takes you into her lap you will feel soothing you will feel comfortable you will be very happy suddenly if someone else other than mother comes to you and touches you you start crying why because you analyzed the touch of mother how how is it possible it is possible by a wonderful sensory organ called skin your skin is habituated to the body temperature of your mother and your skin becomes a sensor to sense the body temperature of other human then automatically you cry starting so chemistry is not away from us chemistry is within us chemistry is around us but the pity is uh, i'm really sorry please forgive me those people who just know the spellings of atom electron proton and neutron or otherwise they would have listened these names uh, silly ironically they feel that they are experts in chemistry how pity it is uh, this is ridiculous no so we don't want to be in the list of those people so the best wonderful analytical chemist as mentioned amma whatever she does is analysis say uh, the first meal she wish to place you in your mouth if it is a sweet dish you will be uh, making uh, mouth watering and you will be eating it so she understood that you love sweets so simple in definition analysis is the process of learning nature and composition of any substance 
so you were given a substance you have to know or you have to ascertain its nature and composition that's what exactly we people do in our laboratory so what exactly analysis is classified analysis is classified in three types what how much and where this question is very important see if you are in a position to answer the three important questions what how much and where you are a wonderful analytical chemist mm definitely mouth watering no for me it is definitely uh, mouth watering i don't know exactly what you prefer to eat but it is definitely mouth watering yes i'm right so but for an analytical chemist but for a person belonging to chemistry the three questions comes in mind what does it consist how much each of the constituent is where from it was bought an answer for the first question it consists of basin that is flour sugar cashew ghee kishmish elaichi etc and the second question how much 500 grams of flour 300 grams of sugar 100 grams of cashew 100 grams of kishmish 500 grams of ghee 5 grams of elaichi third question from where did you buy this particular substance and that is xyz sweet store iso 9000 certified what do you mean by the word iso 9000 certified it's called as brand always the people who are dealing with chemical science they talk about q and q simple q and q quality and quantity say for example you are going to attend an interview you will be checked for your quality and for quantity also how many conferences you have attended how many workshops you have attended what is your final year project how much you got your grades from which institute you were graduated which institute you are graduated that is a very important question and if your institute is uh, so and so certifications it is having then you are a branded product so even in your education chemistry is going to come and intervene so god blessed us with two wonderful organs for both the qualitative analysis and quantitative analysis see whenever a food or a dish is placed in front of you our first sensory organ that works is eyes your eyes will directly fall on the food material and if that appears pleasant to your eyes then half of your stomach has been filled then it comes to nose it verifies the order of that food material and it analyzes then it comes for the tasting time that is your tongue which is going to analyze so eyes that do qualitative analysis tongue that does quantitative analysis say for example if mother cooks a food say for example rasam she cooks uh, on that day only rasam but it is yummy we will lick each and every finger of ours but if the same rasam we prepare no one will taste it that's the wonderful thing observe it when when mother is going to cook the food she will listen to all nonsense which we uh, talk to her ma today morning we went to a class one fellow come and uh, that teacher was so awesome he or she was explaining you we you talk all nonsense about the things happened in the day but still she cooks perfectly that's what a scientist so there is a scientist in in every home and that is amma again and a wonderful analytical chemist wonderful person to do analysis and then uh, how do you differentiate the food cooked by amma and yourself by your tongue because if the food is cooked by amma the spices the salt uh, the required quantities of oil and all uh, other stuff is exact and accurate but if you cook the food there may be high spice content or there may be low salt content which can be analyzed by your tongue so chemistry is within you believe and agree so those eyes wonderful to analyze and the tongue which is going to twist so qualitative analysis is the process of identification of each of the constituent present in a sample provided 
I have given you a Motichur Laddu I, as I have shown you before. You have to analyze what exactly does it consist. That is what we call qualitative analysis. When it comes for quantitative analysis, you have to determine what is the quantity of each of the constituent present in the sample. The sample is laddu and what does it consist in? It, it consists flour, sugar, cashew, kishmis, all the things I have mentioned. How much? 500 grams, 300 grams. So if you are talking about the quantity, it is quantitative analysis. If you're talking about what is present, it is qualitative analysis. Say if you want to go to buy a particular dress material for your birthday, you will go for a branded store because we always want to have a qualitative product because we are paying, we are giving money. So the product we want to be having high quality. So qualitative analysis falls into many categories as macro analysis, micro analysis, semi micro analysis, trace analysis and ultra trace analysis. We will discuss about qualitative analysis in some other video. I confine myself to this particular video for quantitative analysis. So quantitative analysis falls into two categories as classical methods of analysis and instrumental methods of analysis. Classical methods of analysis again falls into two categories as gravimetry and volumetry. We will learn the due course. So instrumental methods of analysis falls into four categories as photometric methods, thermal methods of analysis, radiochemical methods and electroanalytical methods. Photochemical Photometric methods, they involve UV visible, NMR, ESR, IR, AAS, FES, etc. Electrochemical, they involve potentiometry, conductometry, pH metry, etc. This is the classification of instrumental methods of analysis. So what exactly gravimetry that stands for? So before 1950, it was the dawn of analytical techniques. So gravimetry is the determination of an element or species through the measurement of mass by an insoluble product. This is wonderful thing. So in 1661, Robert Boyle began the long process of putting chemistry on a sound scientific footing. So till 16th century, chemical analysis this was a big question, but it got answered what exactly to be done. If you divide the word into two, gravimetry, metry which means measurement, gravi that means mass or weight, weight, W equal to mg, where g is gravitational energy. So if you're going to measure weight directly, it's what we call as gravimetry. So for example, if you were given uh, to determine the amount of chloride in a given solution, so what we do is we will take the solution that was given to us to which we will add silver nitrate solution. So when we add silver nitrate solution drop by drop to the solution that was given, the chloride ion present in the solution that was given will react with silver nitrate and forms a precipitate of silver chloride. Let us make to settle this for some time and then all the precipitate settles down then filter this mixture you will get the residue and filtrate throw away the filtrate collect the residue what is the residue here silver chloride which is white solid and that silver chloride is dried and weighed so this a simple example for gravimetric method so what about volumetry we will discuss in the coming videos